The Miami Heat had a clinical win over the Chicago Bulls, 107-95. LeBron James had 17 points, 8 assists, and 6 rebounds. Seven players on the team in double figures, while Bosh, Wade, and James combined for 46 points. All right, Skip Bayless, you watched the game last night. What did you see from the Heat in the season opener? Stephen A. Smith, I just have one comment to make. I realize it was just one game, 81 to go, but you and I spent much of the preseason talking about if Dwayne Wade turns back into D. Wade, it's a wrap, to quote you. It's over. He'll run away, walk away with this thing. You know how much I love me some Dwayne Wade. I have to be honest. I expected a little more from Dwayne last night. I wanted to see a little more, and I didn't, and I was a little disappointed. And I'm only going to say a little because it just was that first game, and maybe he had to knock off a little rust. He did have that Kobe procedure on his knees, didn't go to Germany for it, did it in the States. But still, there might be a little residual soreness just from the procedure. But I thought he might look a little sleeker, maybe a little more sculpted after working with Tim Grover, and a little more explosive, and I didn't see that. I saw great effort, I saw a lot of want to, a lot of try hard, but he was just a little out of rhythm, a little out of sync, and didn't get the results that, that I thought we'd see. I mean, I mean frankly, he was, he was better in that, what was it, game five at San Antonio when he saved the day again? That was explosive. Even game seven, he was tremendous. Maybe he needs to play his way back into that rhythm and flow. But again, just off one game, I must admit, as big a fan as I am, I was a little disappointed. A couple of points to point out. Number one, I saw D. Wade. Uh, he looked good to me. I asked him how he was feeling. He said, okay, he's getting better. He's not 100%. Yep. In terms of him being sculpted and how he looked, he looked rock solid. Saw Gabrielle Union at the game. She certainly ain't complaining about him. She thinks well, he looks just fine. That, I have no that issues that. with him whatsoever. Did, did that's all that matters, assist. okay? I got so, I mean, else to so you can, out of here. So, so, <laughs> so, that's exactly. Yeah. All right? So, so you combine all of that. You combine all of that, Skip, with what we saw from him. Listen, he could have played better. There's no doubt about that. A lot of those guys felt like they could have played better, but... It wasn't mandated because everybody was, was in rhythm and playing relatively well. When I asked him how he felt in terms of his knee, he said, it's okay. Um, he elaborated later by saying, it's getting there. He's not 100%. He's getting there. He's climbing. He's getting better. Remember, had the off-season surgery, had the conditioning, had not just his knee to work on, but his hips, his back, et cetera, et cetera. So he's not going to be 100%. The question is, is he en route to getting there? Yes. Does he feel better than he felt last season? Absolutely. All of those things are to be considered. And Dwayne Wade is a master at pacing himself. He's not going to push it to the limit because he understands it's unnecessary. And his teammates understand that as well. So I think that it's a bit too much being made of it. Uh, obviously, he could have played better again. But it's nothing to be concerned about. As the season progresses and he gets his legs under him a bit better, I think you'll see an even better Dwayne Wade. And more importantly, if he's going to get better health-wise, particularly as the season progresses, when the games count more, I think you'll see him do more. So I'm not worried about it. And the other, to, to Kerry's first question, just what did I think of the Heat? I think we share this view. They were dominant last night, especially in the second quarter. As you pointed out on SportsCenter, they didn't need LeBron to score. They need Dwayne to score. They just overwhelmed Chicago defensively, and I think we're going to see more of same this year. More of same. Maybe even yeah. better, huh? We'll leave it there, gentlemen. Coming up next, uh, Charles.